All right, guys. So, looking back the channel, we're uh, working on doing some test running with the Bearcat. You see, I got my handy dandy uh, chocks here. <laughs> Anyways, I've run it a few times, um, playing with the needles a little bit. It's running pretty good. Um, takes a few tries to get it lit with the choke, but uh, just trying to get it running a little bit, run some fuel through it, loosen it up. So, so far it's running pretty good, and I will say that it's far less scary to start than I thought it was going to be, even though it's a giant prop. But it uh, fires up pretty easy to hand start. It doesn't really want to kick back or anything yet, so um, pulls pretty hard, obviously, and sounds really cool. And uh, yeah, still just breaking it in, but uh, we'll give you guys a little running clip here in a second, but... Uh, the carburetors are still kind of, I don't want to say breaking in, but all the seals and stuff are having to get softened up and whatnot. So, anyways, just run some fuel through it, and uh, yeah, it runs ultra smooth, and so far it's running pretty good. So, let's check it out. So we've run it a bunch of times. Uh, probably got close to two tanks through it. I did one full tank, and then I keep refilling it a little bit. So probably done two tanks. Uh, it's only a 32 ounce tank, and I'm now learning that's probably not going to get me a ton of flight time. So uh, I know um, that Peter Goldsmith runs a 60 ounce tank in his, but he's also flying a much larger and heavier airplane that's going to require more throttle. This one, even with a 32 ounce, I would imagine I get five to seven minutes, but uh, I'll probably end up putting a bigger tank in it at some point. But because uh, I'll be flying at what I would assume is half throttle pretty much the whole time, just using full for short burst. Anyways, um, we're just going to give it one more quick run, then we're going to fit the cowling and hang it up because I'm racing tomorrow, so I need to get ready for that. But, anyways, it's running great, it's starting to loosen up really good, and it's. Uh, Starting to turn up some pretty good RPM. I need to get a tack on it, but anyways, let's uh, let's get it fired up.
<laughs> you can see the whole airplane go all like, like like that when you when you jab the throttle. So, anyways, uh, that's it for now. We're gonna have to finish all the rest of the work on the airplane, but motor's done pretty much, aside from the cowling. So, yep, yeah, got to do the cockpit. I'm gonna do some different aileron servos with a direct linkage. Right now, they have a internal linkage on them, so we're gonna get rid of that. Make sure it's all tight. So, anyways, a lot of work to go before we can fly it, but uh, big milestone what the engine runs today. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. All right, so we got the cowling mounted, and uh, yeah, prop doesn't look quite as big with the cowl on. The cowl is actually probably a little bit fat for scale, but they have a little more taper than that in, on the real ones. But uh, anyways, it's some of it's the wide angle lens too. That's a little better. Anyways, cowling's fit and uh, yep, that's it. We'll see you guys in the next Bearcat update.